Over the years, humanity has changed with technology. Some of it has changed it for the good, some for the bad. The main item of technology, mobile phones. The point of the phone was to contact friends and relatives from distant places. Now the phone has changed over time. Now as a home to social media such as Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. On the program, we show to you, the public, how true our point is by looking into society change. This is Society Change Technology. Hello and welcome. For the past few decades, technology has become an advanced and developed item of people's lives. But because it's changed so many lives, it's become a main one. When you hear about technology, you may think about iPads, iPhones, anything to do with technological devices. But with today's changes within it, people need to remember that technology in today's society wasn't quite as advanced as it was back in the earlier days. The man you see here is Steve Jobs, one of the co-founders of Apple who have produced some of the greatest technological devices in the world. At this point of their business, you can see Jobs revealing to the world the first ever iPhone. The footage was taken in 2007 and the minute the world heard about this revolutionary device, the public knew they had to buy one. The reason why people found it astounding was because he had produced a touch screen device. No one had ever seen it before and everyone knew they had to have it in their lives. Now people have found it a bit simple now that they use touch screen on their device. But some find it still amazing as it was back in the day. After discussing technology, we wanted to find out what the public find interesting about it. We wanted to discuss with Councillor Clements, so we went to Barnsley Town Hall where he gave us his information. I'm sat here with Councillor Clemens, who has happily taken a few minutes of his time. Councillor, welcome. Now, the questions we want to ask, what are your thoughts on technology? I think it all depends on, on, on how it's used. Uh, I think technology has many advantages, um, but there are also some potential disadvantages with it as well. Uh, I mean, I can't uh, even begin to compare the difference uh, with technology between technology now uh, and when I, when I was your age, but on the on the other hand, uh, there are some aspects of, of technology which I dislike. I think the widespread use of CCTV, the widespread use of automatic number plate recognition, is a potential threat to civil liberties, uh, and that does concern me. Hmm. I see. Uh, why is it that you think that? Well. Uh, um, the argument is always said that CCTV, for example, uh, helps control crime, uh, in, uh, helps control uh, order in public spaces and so on. Um, you know, but, but it, it, there is the potential for misuse of CCTV hmm. and, and certainly the, the use of automatic number plate recognition, I, I think, is a, is a huge area of uh, concern. Uh, do you tend to use technology? Yes. And uh, what devices do you tend to use? I've got two smartphones in my, in, in my pocket. I've got an iPhone 6, which is my own. I have a Windows phone, which is provided by uh, the council to help me with my work. Uh, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly heavy user of uh, technology. Do you think that technology has become a vital item with the public? The question of whether it's vital, I think, is, is, is debatable. Um, I think most people feel that they can't do without it, um, but in reality you can do without it. And I do feel at times that people become obsessed by their mobile phone. Um, you know, the, the, you know. The, I've heard it said that 50% uh, of people under 30 wouldn't go back to the house if they'd forgotten the wallet, but they would go back if they'd forgotten the mobile phone. Many people have said that children are the main age range area of the people that have been affected. Now, could you agree or disagree? I think that uh, younger people see um, devices as a must-have item. Yeah. Uh, I think young people uh, are introduced to technology, um, but it, it, that's nothing new. Um, technology is, is simply the item of the age. There's always been technological development. 
Um, so I don't think it's anything out, out of the ordinary, uh, but I do think that the mobile phone uh, has become uh, almost an essential uh, part of everyday life these days. Following on what Councillor Clemens told us, we wanted to focus on what the public find interesting about technology. Technology is quite useful uh, for situations like education. I sometimes don't think that it's there to kind of make money. I think with mobile phones, you know, they're saying, oh, I'll get this next one, because it's like, it does X, Y, and Z, when I think that's a money-making thing, but with computers and things for college and things, it's quite a good, uh, good idea. I like a bit of analog, though. Um, just in general? Yeah. Um, I think it's a good thing. Um, I think it's helped us sort of develop especially over the last few years as technology has moved on faster and faster. Yeah. Um, I think some of it's useful, but some of it is slightly unnecessary and it makes things difficult. <laughs> yeah. What devices do you tend to use? Um, computer. Um, um, I think it's pretty good. Um, I think I've been lost without a lot of it, like Google Maps that I use to get everywhere. <laughs> Uh, what devices do you tend to use? Um, I use my phone a lot, um, obviously I use a computer all day at work, um, my Xbox. After interviewing both the public and Councillor Clemens, we decided that we needed to talk to someone who works a bit more closely with technology. How helpful is technology to you? It's pretty much the entire thing of my job. Technology is everything I have to do. I help people with technology, solving problems when they want it. Uh, would you find yourself struggling without te technology now in the world? Now yeah, I, do, I, do. I would agree with that. Technology is pretty much in everything nowadays. I mean, you and me, I, everything I do is pretty much technology based, from phone to computer, all sorts. Uh, would you say that technology has now become obsessive over the years? That's the only thing obsessive that I personally talk about is how often you see people on phones. I'm not a, a very big mobile phone person, but yeah, it's always interesting when you wander around and everyone's looking down at their phone. Following on what the councillor and some people have said, is that they find some people can be quite obsessive over technology. For example, the mobile phone. When the first mobile phone was created, it was designed for people to communicate with others that were far away in distant places where they could reach them. This was designed for people to also communicate by calling them, but then suddenly by texting them. This was a brand new item within the phone. No one had ever seen this before. But now, when you look back at it, people find it a bit dull as you couldn't do anything apart from just text and communicate. Now, in today's society, you can use social media such as Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. So people need to remember that technology today has become so advanced and has evolved into something brand new. Everything's computerized now. An example of a film that shows how much society has changed due to technology is the film The Internship. This clip here shown proves exactly how much everything has changed due to technology. Nobody wears a watch anymore, they just check their goddamn phone. Disagree, maybe. Cite there's your a, sources. There's a brighter market. Lorraine, what time is it? 10.26. One hip pioneering secretary does not a cultural trend make. She's 75 years old. Now that we've looked further into the research of technology and focus entirely on what people think about it, the question is, what do you think about it? Do you think technology is changing for the good or for the bad? And what exactly does the future hold for technology?